big moment. Long hair, don't care. I'm wishing you all happiness, clarity, and freedom today. The hat's off. We're letting the hair out. Today, I want to tell you guys that today is your day, okay? Every single day is a new day for you to chase your dreams. And I always want to tell you guys to chase your dreams because we're only here in this incarnation, in this unique life, with this unique body, with this unique energy. We're only here once, okay? I believe in reincarnation. I believe that we have past lives and we have future lives. But right now, right now, you are in your unique body. You're in your unique energy. And take the opportunity, take the time to really take your life seriously. Really take this life seriously. Go for your dreams. Don't let anybody else tell you what to do. Don't let your parents hold you back. Don't let your teachers hold you back. Don't let your cousins, your siblings, your family, don't let anybody hold you back from living your life, from living the life that you really want to live. Chase your dreams. I know you have goals. I know you have aspirations. Today is the day to go for them. Go for it. Who cares if you don't succeed to your expectations? At least you tried. That's all that matters. At least you tried. So go for it. Chase your dreams. Chase your wildest dreams. Let it all go. You got nothing to lose. You got nothing to lose. You came into this world with nothing. I realized, you know, I didn't come out of the womb wearing a hat, so I took the hat off. You didn't even come into this world from the womb with anything. You didn't come with anything. Just you pure butt naked, just you. That's it. That's how we entered this world, okay? So you have nothing to lose. A lot of times in life, we have all these attachments. We attach to things, okay? We attach to things, and we love things, okay? And we must start to let go of all these attachments, all these silly little attachments that us humans like to have in this world, we gotta let them go. We got nothing to lose. Chase your dreams. Chase success. Chase your wildest desires. That's what life's really about. So with that being said, guys, today, the topic of this video, we are talking about solar flares. Because as a matter of fact, there are absolutely massive solar flares going on right now as I'm speaking massive solar flares okay for anyone who doesn't know what a solar flare is it's basically that it's a solar flare it's a flare basically a burst of energy coming off of our sun right and these bursts of energy go everywhere they go in all directions but when they come to planet earth the thing to keep in mind about solar flares is that our sun is absolutely massive okay I'm pretty sure it's like a million Earths could fit into our sun, okay? So if you imagine the sun, okay, this is our sun. The Earth is like a tiny atom compared to this. It's like a tiny speck of dust, a grain of sand compared to this giant sun. So think about this, you know, when this energy comes off from the sun, our entire planet is going to get engulfed in this energy. The whole planet's going to feel it. Okay, that's what's so special about solar flares. When a solar flare comes from the sun, our entire planet is going to feel it. It's an entire energetic shift. And that's what's so amazing. And right now, we are having a massive M-class solar flare. So it goes, C-class is the lowest level of solar flare, lowest power, lowest frequency you could call it. And then we got M class and then we got X class. X class is like absolutely massive, crazy, crazy high energies. But M class is very high, okay? This is the moderate solar flare. These don't happen too often, these are rare. And we're getting a massive M7.24 flare right now as I'm speaking. And I get these notifications on my phone. I have Space Weather app 
and I recommend you guys get it. Not sponsored at all, but get that app if you're interested. And these solar flares are changing our lives without us even realizing it. So getting into solar flares, what I believe about solar flares. Okay, first off, you know, with solar flares, there is so much that we don't know. Obviously, science can measure these solar flares. We can measure these solar flares with technology and look at them on our phones, which is absolutely crazy, right? But at the end of the day, there is so much that we just don't know. It's a mystery. We don't know. I don't know everything about solar flares. There's still so much more I could know. And at the end of the day, no one really knows what these flares are doing, what it's all about, what's exactly happening with these solar flares, how it's affecting human consciousness, life on Earth. No one really knows for sure. Okay, it's, it's a big mystery. And we're not really supposed to know, I believe. We're not really supposed to know. But what I can guess, what I can speculate from just my intuition and you know, just speculation, educated guesses. I believe that these solar flares are changing human consciousness on a physical level, on an emotional level, on a brainwave level, mentally, spiritually, okay? Especially spiritually and emotionally, energetically, right? These solar flares are changing humans, changing all life on Earth, the trees, the grass, the squirrels, the bunnies, the moose up in Canada. Shout out to the mooses. The mooses. No, that's not a word. It's just moose. Shout out to the moose up there in Canada. Okay. All the animals. All of the animals are feeling it. All of the life on Earth is feeling it. These solar flares. Because it's absolutely massive. Like I said, think about it. A sun, our sun, you know, emits energy, a solar flare. And our entire planet is going to get engulfed in this energy. Everything is going to feel it. China is going to feel it. Russia is going to feel it. The U United States is going to feel it. Everybody is going to feel this solar flare. Okay, and that's what I love about it. But what I really believe is happening with these solar flares is that they are upgrading human consciousness. It has everything to do with the ascension, with ascension symptoms, with what's whatever's going on on this planet right now, all of this change that's happening on an energetic level has everything to do with these solar flares. Now, like I said, I don't know this for sure. I can't prove this to you. This is just what I am guessing based off my intuition, what I feel is probably true, right? It's all energy, right? And the sun is the source of all life. I wouldn't be doing this right now if it weren't for the sun. The sun is the source. The sun is the source of everything. You wouldn't have food to eat if there was no sun. You wouldn't even exist if there was no sun, right? Earth exists. Earth itself exists because of our sun. We revolve around the sun. All of our planets revolve around the sun. Saturn revolves around the sun. Jupiter revolves around the sun. Mars revolves around the Sun, Venus, Mercury, Neptune, Uranus, Pluto, all the planets, they all revolve around our giant Sun. Okay, and that just goes to show how powerful our Sun is. Our Sun is incredibly powerful. It's the source of everything. And that's why these solar flares are so special and they're so impactful. And that's why I believe that they have so much significance during this time and, and in life in general, right? These solar flares, I believe, are forcing us to upgrade. They're forcing us to level up on a cellular level. It goes really deep. On a cellular level, these solar flares are changing us, changing our cells, changing our DNA. And it has everything to do with the shift that's going on. A lot of people call it the 5D shift, the new earth, whatever you want to call it, whatever label you want to give it, it's the same thing at the end of the day. It just is what it is. Whatever you want to call it, it's fine. 5D shift, age of Aquarius, right? I do believe in the age of Aquarius. You know, it's the age of air, it's the age of Aquarius. We're changing so much. 
and yeah, whatever you want to call it, you know, this 5D energetic shift that's going on, this change that's going on. I just like to regard it, regard to it as change because that's what it is. It's a massive change. It's transformation. We're upgrading. We're leveling up. And the solar flares have everything to do with it. The solar flares are emitting this massive electromagnetic energy, these electromagnetic frequencies coming to Earth and engulfing Earth, completely engulfing us in these new frequencies. And this is also why it's so critical to get your sunlight, get your vitamin D. Okay, when you take in the light from the sun, you are receiving information because light is information. It goes in your DNA and your DNA code receives it. And it's information, it's light. If you want to know the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. The genius Nikola Tesla said this. Okay, this man was an absolute genius. He was ahead of his time. Nikola Tesla, shout out to him. He knew what was up, okay? He knew what was up with this reality. It's just energy, frequency, and vibration. That's it. And that's exactly why I don't always like to give labels to things. I don't always like to say, uh, Age of Aquarius, 5D shift, utopia, like I was talking about in the New Earth video. I don't always like to talk about these things because it's just words. It doesn't mean anything. Words honestly don't mean anything. It's the energy. What I'm saying right now doesn't matter. It's the energy. I'm giving you guys my energy. And it's all about having this authentic, positive, loving energy. And that's what these solar flares are showing us, that we need to change. We need to change on this planet. For a long time, we're living in ignorance. We weren't living according to nature. We weren't living according to how God, you know, how nature, God, universe set for us to live. We weren't living according to this. And now we are reverting back to the spiritual realm. realm. The spiritual realm. The spiritual realm, okay? We're going back to the realm of spirituality. And the sun is the source of it all. The sun is the source of consciousness. And in fact, in astrology, the sun is, is associated with Leo. It's associated with the ninth house as well. And the ninth house in ancient times was regarded as the house of God. The house of God. God consciousness. Christ consciousness. Source energy. All knowing, right? The sun is divine. The divine masculine. The divine source of consciousness. That's the sun. It's divine. It is God, okay? The sun is God. The sun is the universe. The sun is the energy. It's the source energy. It's what we need to connect to. And you see it in nature, right? The grass. They're rece re receiving the sunlight constantly throughout the day. The trees receiving the sunlight all day. Taking it in, using it as energy. And you see everything sprouts from below and it goes up towards the sunlight. Sprouts up towards the sun. The fruit sprouts up and it even like rearranges itself to face the sun right i have house plants in my room and during the summer they would just shift themselves and orient themselves toward the sunlight toward the window and it's so crazy how it does that and it shows that like everything is alive plants are alive because they are filled with this consciousness light consciousness coming from the sun and just like we are alive, just like we have a brain that we can think, we have consciousness, conscious awareness that exists in the present moment, that is always ever present. God, when they say God is always with you, your consciousness is always with you. You are always aware. You are always here. And the sunlight is the source of it all. So these solar flares are absolutely massive. I highly recommend you guys go and track these on your phone. Get the space weather app so you can be up to date. You know, also what I do sometimes is when I see that there's a solar flare going on on my phone, I look at what's going on in my reality. How am I feeling? How is my consciousness feeling? How am I feeling spiritually? How am I feeling mentally? On all levels, how am I feeling? Right? Because these solar flares, they affect how we are feeling. 
They affect our emotional bodies, our spiritual bodies, our physical bodies, everything. And it also, you know, with these solar flares coming through to Earth, it's going to cause lots of shifts. Okay, my community post, holy shift. Holy shift, massive shifts. That's what's really going on right now. Massive shifts, okay? Massive energetic shifts. We are changing and we're going to experience symptoms. We're going to experience parts of our old selves coming to the surface. You know, sometimes we're gonna have old habits come up. They're gonna come up out of nowhere. They're just gonna pop up. Old habits that we need to let go of and shed. Desires, could be old addictions coming up. Coming up to the surface, we need to let them go. We need to feel them. We need to be present with them. Because here's the thing, you know, for a long time, a lot of us on the planet, we, yes, we have these addictions and these tendencies and these habits, but we're pushing them away. We're not facing them. We're just pushing them, burying them deeper. But now we're being forced to face everything. We're being forced to face everything. Everything is coming to light. Everything is coming to light. And, you know, it has everything to do with the solar flares. Our habits are coming to light. Our addictions are coming to light. And that's why it's going to be rough. It's not going to be easy. Toxins in our body coming to light, coming up to the surface. Coming up. I've, a while, for a while recently, I was dealing with a lot of eczema. And my body, it was my body releasing, purging, getting rid of whatever it had to. At the end of the day, I don't know exactly what was going on, but all I know is that my body and your body is doing whatever it can to release toxins and to be as pure as as possible and that's why I do intermittent fasting that's why I drink a lot of water all these things I exercise you know it's all about balance you know live balanced life so thank you guys for tuning into this video talking about solar flares talking about energy I really love talking about this stuff as you guys know thank you for tuning in I want you to smash the like button I want you to subscribe to freedom speaks if you are new I really do appreciate all of your guys' comments. Keep up the wonderful comments, positive comments. Like I said, you know, create this community of positivity, of love, of authenticity. This is the direction that we need to move in on this planet. Okay, positivity. Leave a comment of love and positivity and gratitude. Okay, that's what we need to do. Thank you all so much. You guys mean a lot to me. You're amazing. I want you to have a beautiful day. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.